Hello everybody and welcome to this overclocking video of the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X CPU. In this video today I'll be showing you how I simply overclocked my 1700X to 4GHz as well as 3.9GHz should your chip not be able to run stable at 4GHz. Then I'll run through all kinds of benchmarks to see whether or not overclocking does boost performance, especially in gaming, where Ryzen falls back behind a bit compared to Intel's i7 processors. This will all be done on the ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero X370 motherboard. Thanks ASUS for this amazing board. And also I forgot to mention in my main 1700X review, I'd like to thank Cooler Master and Be Quiet for doing their best to help me out with the Ryzen reviews by providing me a completely new liquid cooler such as the Master Liquid 240 that supports AM4 in Cooler Master's case and Be Quiet was so kind to send me over the AM4 mounting kit for their Silent Loop 240mm AI own liquid cooler. Thank you so much to both Cooler Master and Be Quiet, I really appreciate it. First of all, overclocking comes down to luck and your choice of components. For instance, not every 1700X CPU would overclock as well. But in general, with these Ryzen 7 chips, 4GHz seems to be the average max achievable clock speed. But of course, that's highly dependent on what motherboard you pair your Ryzen with. In my case, the Crosshair 6 Hero is fairly well equipped with its 12-phase VRM power design and beefy heatsinks and should therefore allow for a relatively easy and hassle-free overclocking experience. Just for your reference, at stock my 1700X operates at 1.199 volts, according to CPU-Z, with the voltage left at auto in the bias, at 3.9 and 4 GHz that are 1.308 and 1.395 volts respectively. To not impact the chip's longevity, I would recommend to not exceed a CPU voltage of 1.35 volts for 24-7 operation. So the voltage required for my 4 GHz overclock is a bit high and I wouldn't recommend it, just to be clear. So now that's all great, but how exactly did I achieve these clock speeds? I'm not an overclocking expert, so I go for dead simple methods only, methods everyone can use. Before touching any dials for the CPU, make sure to have your memory run stable at stock. If it's not, don't even tinker with increasing the CPU frequency. I for one, like many others, could only get my RAM stable at 2133 MHz. To get the 1700X at 3.9 GHz, I set the CPU core ratio to manual. You could manually dial in the ratio or use the FID and DID values. By dialing in 156, the target CPU speed goes up to 3.9 GHz as you can see. For the DID, enter 8. Then we need to adjust the core voltage. I would recommend setting it to offset mode. Manual will make the CPU run at high voltage no matter the load you put on it. Offset mode will take care of that. In this case, with the current BIOS version of this board, I'm not going for plus but minus instead. We're subtracting 0.00625 volts. All power saving features remain untouched, so they're enabled. You don't need to disable those. And as for 4 GHz, do the same, but dial in 160 for the FID instead, and set the offset to plus this time around, and I needed 0.09375 volts. So yeah, that's it, that's how I overclocked my 1700X. It runs stable after several hours of stress testing with ADA64 and Cinebench. But how does this Ryzen 7 chip perform with a higher clock speed? Any performance improvements specifically in games? Let's find out, I guess.
So as clearly can be seen, it is worth it over clocking Ryzen. In fact, it makes more sense to increase the clock speeds on Ryzen than it is the case with Intel's i7-7700K. When it comes to aspects such as video editing and rendering, the extra boost in performance is very, very noticeable. Although with 4 GHz, there's not that much of an improvement noticeable over 3.9 GHz. At least it's not worth the high CPU voltage in my opinion. Still, what the majority of you want to know is if an overclocked Ryzen processor does actually increase the frame rate in games. Short answer, yes it does. But other than in heavily multi-threaded games such as Crisis 3, the improvement isn't as obvious as in the productivity aspects. Most of the time only a couple of FPS more. Worth it? Not sure about that because the power consumption does increase quite drastically. Especially at 4GHz, the performance per watt doesn't appear to be as good anymore. In terms of temperatures though, there's no need to worry. With my all-in-one liquid cooler, my 1700X ran perfectly cool and compared to stock results with everything being set to auto in the BIOS, pretty funny results indeed. So long story short, should you overclock Ryzen 7? Yes if you need raw image, video editing and rendering power, no if you are playing games. Not really worth the high power consumption and higher CPU voltage. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this Ryzen 7 1700X overclocking video with the ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.